Market's about to close here in three seconds. And that's it. What a wild, crazy day in the stock market. Wow. Just insane. Go and buy the title of the video. I hit an all-time new record today as a day trader. This market is just insane. I was able to lock in $32,000 in one day. Most people have to work a year for that. That's insane. Ask me two years ago, a year ago, if I'd be making this much. I'd be like, you're crazy. This is just insane. I cannot believe the levels that I'm getting up to. I just have to stay humble. Don't be reckless. Because not too long ago, I just had a loss of 20K. So you could see how things could get out of hand. This is just insane. Wow. SCKT. Just going insane. From 10 up to 35. Let me show you guys the totals for today. On Thinkorswim. Total for the day. 22000 $653. I made most of my money on SCKT. 14000 BNGO, I made 1700 CLEU, I lost 1800 FTFT, I made 1400 PXS. That was a recent pump. That I made just over 6K on that. SCKT, just over 14K, and SOS, I made just under a thousand. But that's not it. I also have my TD Amer or uh, Charles Schwab account. I traded SCK SCKT twice. I traded it this morning. And I traded it off of a really good bounce. I was able to make just almost $10,000 on this account. And this account is just for, I have it funded for swing trading, but I never swing. So I'll show you guys my balance. I really don't care. But today's change, $10,000. I grew this account almost 50%. Wow. Just insane. These are old. But these are all my trades for today on SCKT. There, I'll show you guys that too. Grew it just over 40%, $9,932. And then we also add up $22,653. That's a total of. $32,500. It's a brand new record for me. Brand new record. My old record was back in December. I was just looking at it right here. December 17th, I made 31000 So I just surpassed it by 1000 That's awesome. Wow. Talk about going through the emotions, ups and downs as a trader. Making 31K and then a month later losing 20K on Sava, not letting it phase me, coming back the next day and making it all back, and then continuing the rest of the week, ending it strong. And then a couple weeks later, I hit a new record for day trading. In my career. That's just insane. This market is just on fire. I can't believe it. Good job to all you guys today in chat. You guys all killed it today. Hawk driver. Paper. 
Armanda, Irish, all of you guys killed it. Grizzly Bar killed it. Dub killed it. You guys all posted your profits earlier. But wow. I The first time we did the stream today, I was only up 8k. I walked away. I took a nap. I came back at 2. And it's just so many setups just kept popping up. Let's go over those real quick. Let's go over PXS. I'll show you guys my entries on that. If it'll pop up. Yeah, there we go. So PXS, all day today, it kept just randomly popping up on the momentum scanner. It just kept, gradually, I would see it, PXS. If I could scroll back on it. All the way back from earlier in the day. I was just noticing, like right here, PXS, 220, 225. It just gradually, all day, kept hitting that momentum scanner. And if you could just pick up and notice little things like that, it pays down the road. So I noticed PXS kept popping up. I came back from my nap. I seen it was still popping up on the momentum scanner. pushes up to almost 4 bucks right here and when it pulls back down below 350 i see it pushed up on new high volume volume was retracing on the pullback and right when this started to push up over 350 i started loading up buying 3000 share lots i bought a total of 12000 shares and i rode this i waited till it pushed up to 4 took off some, and then I let the rest ride for that breakup over $4 and sold 8,000 shares at 416. Quick, real fast, aggressive day trading in a hot market, $6,400. SCKT Traded this bad boy a few times today. Just patiently waited for SCKT. If my trades will pop up. There we go. So you can see all the times that I traded it. And I only took a piece of the pie. Right here, I started to buy in on it, and this was before it got squeezed. I sold it right here, and then when I seen that it was finally starting to squeeze, I entered in here with 9,000 shares, sold it for a dollar higher. Then later on in the day, I, I watched this run all the way up from 12 to 35, didn't touch it one time. I'm not going to get FOMO and chase after these stocks. They can really burn you. They really can. So just sit in, waiting for my opportunity. And it happened way over here. I was able to catch the reversal. From 35, this trended all the way down to $22. See how it double bottomed right here at 22? Picked up 2,000 shares at 23.50, sold it at tw just over $26. This ran up to 28 bucks. And then BNGO. BNGO, this one was just a gimme. This was just hanging out right at VWAP, right there at 15. It's been playing around at that $15 all day. I alerted it in chat. BNGO, very nice looking at 15 bucks. 
And remember, guys, the Discord's open all this week for absolutely free. So join up, see how we all work together in this community. And after this week, if it's something you want to be a part of, join the team. We're all in here every single day, killing it. BNGO, 6,000 shares in at 1508, sold into this nice pop up to 1535, 1700 bucks. FTFT this morning, 1400 bucks, 6,000 shares in at 650. Scaling out just below 10 bucks. Just a real quick, this was like my first trade of the day. I seen what was happening right here. It was curling, looking for that <clears throat> push up to 10 bucks, that mental level. And it did that. Pushed up 10, pulled back, pushed over 10, ran all the way up to 1080. So it just goes to show I didn't even trade this perfectly. Learn from it. Move on. CLEU. This one was. I was anticipating this. For that push up to $6. And it did momentarily look like it was going to push. I could have locked in. 30, 20 cents a share. Right here on this push. But I was anticipating it to push up to $6. Because if you zoom out, look at this thing loving to spike. This thing loves to spike. So I thought it could at least push up to $6, $6.25, get a nice dollar per share. But as soon as it started to fall back down to where I entered, I got out of it for a $1,800 loss. And then SOS. We traded this one in chat at the end of the day. I got in at 12, sold it at 12.15 for just a quick scalp. Nothing special. It was just in a range all day. And that's all my trades. So Chase Dawson asks, do I limit out of SCK, SKCT or do I mark it out? With the, with the fast moving stock like that, you want to limit out. Because if you look at this one minute time frame, these candles are very, very volatile. So if you mark it out, you're just throwing your money out the door. You know, in a blink of an eye, it could drop 50 cent, 75 cent. I mean, these candles are very, very volatile. So what I do, and this is just me, I hear a lot of people always diss and dog about market orders, how you shouldn't use them. It's all about how you use them. If you're market ordering to buy in into strength, of course you're going to get a horrible fill. You're buying into strength. The stock's going to surge up and it's going to fill you at the most worst price ever. So getting in on bad down ticks or bad strength, if you have an idea of you know what's going to happen. It's all about timing with market orders. You know, you could sit all day on the limit and not even get filled, and they'll blow right past you. You just got to get in, jump in. And then when the stock's pushing up, pushing up, you want to sell into that strength. Don't be a greedy pig. So get on the ask, sit on the ask, and they'll take you out. So to answer your question, no, I don't mark it out. I limit out. Usually what I do, I'll hit join the ask. And my order will sit there. And it will move with the tick of the stock 
until somebody takes me out on the ask. This ladder right here, I don't even use it majority of the time. I don't, to be honest. I, I use these big buttons up here. So, new record day for me. Awesome. I'm pumped. Going forward, I'm not going to get a big head. I'm going to stay humble. I'm not going to get aggressive and stay aggressive. I'm going to continue to start off in the mornings slow, get a feel for the market. And if I feel like I can really see the market well, like I did today, then as the day progresses, I can start to get more aggressive. And it also helps too, if you're in a slump, take a day off or something. Last Friday, I took off to enjoy a nice four-day weekend. So Friday, I wasn't in. I was off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I was off Monday. And during that time off, I didn't take it off completely. I kicked back with a good book, and I read my book. I read The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. Get back into the zone, reset my mind. You know, get that motivation back. Because yet last week was a hard week, for sure. So, this is what I read over the weekend. Right here. The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. Amazing, great book. If you guys have not checked this book out, it's a must check out. I just went to Amazon and I ordered a hard copy of it and it was in by Friday. So perfect timing for the weekend and all that. And we just covered psychology in the masterclass. Part four of the masterclass. If you guys are new, and you're interested in the day trading masterclass, join up. I'm teaching you guys every single thing that I know throughout this masterclass. If you're interested, just click that join button. It gives you an intro video right here of everything that's included with the masterclass, member only videos, the day trading masterclass that I will continue to put out classes throughout 2021. We're on part four right now. Member study group sessions, and you get access to the Discord chat. Or if you're not interested in the day trading masterclass, but you want to be a part of the Discord chat, I have it to where you can just sign up for the chat. $20 a month. It's absolutely dirt cheap. You could have one winning trade and you still have enough money left over to put in your pocket. The reason why I charge for this stuff, there's just too many people out here that want freebies and gimmies. So I have over 7,000, 8,000 subscribers. You guys don't know how many emails and messages I get from people that just want everything for free. Just hand away all of my knowledge for free and answer all of their questions. It's just too much. It really is. So this gives me the opportunity to focus on the people that actually want to be here. And investing in your education, it'll pay off in dividends down the road. I see a lot of you guys in here in the chat. All of you guys showing up every single day, putting in that time. I've watched you all grow the past four months. And you have all might not know it, but you've come a long way. And con you're consistently showing up. 
You're seeing the stocks that we're all calling out. You're burning these plays into your head. You're familiarizing yourself around other good traders, seeing how they operate and call out plays. And you're getting into the rhythm. Hawk driver pushing over 500 on the day. Good job. There were some other of you guys that killed it in here today too. Irish Clover taking it nice and slow. Green is good. If you can end the day green and the week green, that's really, really good. Grizzly Bar making 89 bucks um, on MNQ. And you can see these guys are not even trading the stocks that I'm trading. So they're building up their confidence and trading stocks that they want to focus on. That's what it's all about. R. Thorn, 128 bucks today. Good job. Paper cuts made just over 550 bucks today. That's awesome. Most people have to work a whole week for that paycheck. You made it in a couple hours. Keep studying. Keep putting in that work. It pays off. And it goes to show that you study too. Because a lot of you guys in here are consistently now posting profits. And you're confident in your trading. That's what it's about. Irish, make it 60. But yeah, I wanted to jump on here, guys, and pretty much document. I mean, this is a record day for me, for sure. It's the journey. I used to stress about losing $200, $1,000. And it's just mind-boggling and mind-blowing how you develop and grow as a trader in this game. You can't take uh, nothing for granted. You got to stay level-headed. Monitor your thoughts. And take it one day at a time. A lot of people got burnt on GameStop. And I'm not trying to rub it in. But you were all warned. GameStop. What's this? 59. Oh, I traded it one time here. But <clears throat> you were all warned. It wasn't going to last. It was a squeeze. That's all it was. I seen so many people following Wall Street bets, Reddit, hold the line. This thing's going to hit a thousand. Hold the line. Do you care? Do they care if you blow up your account? No. Let those guys fight it out. No need to get in the middle of this. Same thing with AMC. Just garbage stocks. There's going to be so many bag holders holding this now. So many. You can see I traded it multiple times. Bed Bath & Beyond also. Look at all those trades. All of these plays were moving in sympathy with GameStop. I only traded GameStop once, and that was when this was at 60 bucks. I didn't touch it one time. It ran all the way up to 500 SNDL was another big one that was on a lot of people's watch list from Wall Street Bets and Reddit. It's just a, uh, 
it's just a degenerate gamblers forum. That's all Wall Street bets is. It always been like that. If you've been around in the stock market for the past three to four years, you know about Wall Street bets. All it is is YOLO trades. So that's all it's ever been. YOLO trades. Guys with daddy's money that can blow stupid money on stupid trades. That's all Wall Street Bets is. And I'm not just saying that to hate on the guys. That's If you've been around the past three to four years, you know that's Wall Street Bets. It's just the degenerate gamblers forum. I'm not really interested in Bitcoin. So I make my money in the stock market, not Bitcoin. It's not it's the future, but not right now. Right now, American currency, the U.S. dollar, is still king. So that's what I'm going to keep trading. But Bitcoin's weird. It likes to surge up and then slowly fade off. So it's more of like a swing trading type of thing. You got to accumulate on the way down and then sell when it has its big day. A lot of people fell into the Dogecoin too. Thanks for becoming a, mem a member, Long John McNutty. I'll take care of you after the string here. But again, again, guys, the Discord chat is open for free all this week. You guys can spectate and see how we operate as a community here, how we work as a team. And then after this week, if it, this is a community you want to be a part of, a team, join up. It's that simple. We're out here to help grow traders, not feed them with just hot stock picks. You don't believe me? Ask any of the members or go up to the testimonials section and look at all the testimonials from all the members. I've seen a lot of people so far come in here and have great success and watching them grow is just amazing. It really is. You have to invest in your education. Don't be cheap and blow up your account all because you don't want to invest $20, $50 in your education. It'll bite you down the road. You'll learn the hard way. Trust me. It took me over two years to learn this game by doing it myself. You need a mentor in this game. You do. Even if you don't go with me, there are still some great people out there. Investors Underground. Nate, he's a good one. Deckmar Trades, he's a good one. But they charge an arm and a leg. They charge like 200 bucks for their community a month. You got Mad Ass Trader. He's a good trader. Uh, Bulls on Wall Street. So there's four other communities out there that are great in my eyes that you could be a part of. My Investment Club. They're one of the top ones. I've learned from all of those guys. Hopefully you guys killed it out there today. Hopefully you're able to stay safe. The game plan today, going into the market, and we talked about it before the market opened in chat, there was going to be a lot of FOMO right when that bell rang. A three-day weekend. Traders want to trade, 
So chill out, let those stocks do what they got to do, and let's go after the easy plays. Don't get caught up in all the FOMO and you don't know which way a stock's going to go at the open. All right, I'll cover I'll cover a couple of these uh Bitcoin stocks. <clears throat> Just give me one moment. Riot, it's really up there. It looks like it moves with Bitcoin. You just have to pay close attention to what Bitcoin's doing, honestly. Because it's the big dog. Fifty bucks a share, that's a lot of buying power to put up for a stock unless you trade options. All right. So Riot looks like it's still squeezing and pushing up higher. I mean it's up really, really high. It's it's not a bad idea to lock in profits. I mean, it's not going to keep going up forever. That's just what I see on the chart. Mara, that's up there in price. If it pulls back, it's going to pull back down to this $40 area. $38. And then SOS. That was consolidating from 12 to 12.50. Multiple opportunities for scalping. You know, instead of buying and holding, multiple times you could have scalped this. 50 cents. Buy, sell. Buy, sell. Buy, sell buy sell buy i mean that's six times five times back and forth back and forth so it's currently range bound if it falls down below 11 it's going to fall back down to 8 750 Baller Anonymous asks, what is your trading method? What is your trade today and why? Back, if you scroll back in the video, I went over all my trades that I took today. All of them here on Thinkorswim. And yeah, I covered all of them. I even brought the chart up with my entries and exits and broke it down real quick. Made 22600 on Thinkorswim and then on TD or Schwab I made just over almost 10000. So I'm up $32,500 today. Boom, let's go. I'm so pumped about that. That's a year's salary. Now I can chill 
kick back and I could just trade a thousand shares and be good. That's what it's all about. Build up a cushion. That way you're not sweating every single day, every week. I got to make this much. I got to make this much. It shouldn't be about that. You take what the market gives you every single day. Take it a day at a time. Someone asked, what platform am I using? I have two platforms. This one is Street Smart Edge by Charles Schwab. And then this one is Thinkorswim by TD Ameritrade. And I also have trade ideas that I pay for monthly. And I, I, I use a few things. I also have TC2000 that I'm subscribed to. And I have Bookmap. So there's multiple charting uh, softwares that I use. Because every charting platform offers something different. Ballers Anonymous, In the Money Options, Gamma Squeeze. Talk about Gamma Squeeze, calls hitting strike price. I don't trade options, so I, I just stick to trading equities. That's my niche. If it's not broke, I've never gotten really into options. It's just, I don't care for it. It's not me. That's just my personal opinion and preference, though. <clears throat> SOS, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank did a plug. He's in at 580. Nice. I'm not a scalper. I mean, I trade the longest I stay in trades, maybe three, four minutes, maybe. But I'm not buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, in and out in seconds. You know, I, I'm, I, I think of myself as a more big picture type trader. I try to see the big picture with the 10 minute chart. And then I use the one minute to narrow down my entries and exits. I I feel much more uh less stressed being cash every single night and then being able to start the next day fresh cuz who wants to wake up the next day and have a losing position or be down and you haven't even started the day yet so it's not about how much you trade it's what you trade and for me I just, I'd rather be cash at the end of the day. Trade during the day, be cash at the end of the day, and I could sleep like a baby at night, not have to worry about my swing. <clears throat> well, hopefully you guys were able to kill it out there. And I will probably see you guys tomorrow in the Wednesday chat. Remember, it's open up free all this week. So all you have to do is join. And it's all open for you guys. Most of the educational rooms, those are free. Check those out. Build up that knowledge. And if you guys want to spectate what the team and the community is talking about, we're all in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday chats. I filter it out. I don't want just anybody in the chat because there are a lot of toxic people out there. People want to spam. They want to promote. 
you know, so I have to put a limit on people who can type, if you get what I'm saying. So if you become a member, that's showing me that you want to take this seriously. I don't mind dedicating my time to you. That's what I'm getting at. I've been doing this for over five years, and I'm going strong, still. All right. Well, I'm done, guys. I'm going to chill the rest of the day. Epic trading day. Let's get it again tomorrow. I still think FOMO is still going to be in the markets, especially after what SCKT did. Going from pretty much $3 up to $35. That's insane. People are going to look at this and be like, wow, look at, at how much money I could have made. And they're going to say the next, the first thing that pops up tomorrow, I'm jumping all over it. 